Consider question number two of BSc 2021 paper. What is this question saying? Consider any real value continued function defined on the set of all real numbers defined such that f of f of x is equal to x. This is given. For all x belonging to the real number. Then it says if f is not identity function. So what is an identity function? An identity function has a property that f of x is equal to x. So if y is equal to x, then it is an identity function. f of x has to be equal to x, then it is an identity function. So it says f of x is not equal to x because it says it is not an identity function not identity function this is given to us then it says which of the following is true so please say see two things are given to us one f of f of x is equal to x second f of x is not equal to x these are given to us and based on this, it is asking which of the following property is true. Now, to go ahead and do this, you will always try to formulate any function which will satisfy both of these properties. So, let's say that I take this function where f of x is equal to 1 by x. It is not equal to x, so it is not an identity function. Now what I do is I find f of f of x, which means wherever my x is there, instead of x, I will put fx. So let's go ahead and do that. I want to find f of f of fx. Instead of x, I will put fx. So I will get 1 upon fx. fx in itself was 1 by x. So this will be what? This will be 1 by 1 by x, which will be x. So I have got two things now and I have been able to satisfy both the properties. f of f of x is x. I have satisfied this thing. f of x is not equal to x. I have satisfied this also. Now based on these two, what I can go ahead and I can do is I can find whether this function fx is increasing or decreasing. So if my fx is 1 by x, I clearly know f dash x will be minus 1 by x square, which is less than 0 for all x. Whether x is negative or positive, it is always less than 0, which means it is a strictly decreasing function. And if you notice, you will see that this is actually 1 by x is actually a rectangular hyperbola. fx is equal to 1 by x. So it is a strictly decreasing function for all values of x. Therefore, I can say that the answer is b. f is a strictly decreasing function.